Welcome back to the Data Professor YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Chinin Nanta Senamad, and I'm an Associate Professor of Bioinformatics. On this YouTube channel, we cover about data science concepts and practical tutorials. So if you're into this type of content, please consider subscribing. So in the past couple of videos, I have created the Google Colab Tips and Tricks series. So I hope that this brings you value in getting started in using data science on the cloud. And the great thing about it is that it's free. And if you're using your laptop, it doesn't heat up your laptop as it is running the computation because the computation is running on the cloud. And the thing that I like about it is that the notebook is safe on the cloud and we could share it. We could download it on another computer or you could work on it on your iPad when you're on the run. And when you get home, you can open up your desktop and continue working where you left off. So it's very flexible and that's the power of the Google Colab. And so in this tips and tricks series, I hope that the videos can provide you with some useful tips that could help your data science project. So in the past couple of videos, some of you have asked, how do you import files into the Google Colab? And so in a previous video, I have shown you how you can import files directly from Google Drive. And you might be wondering, what if you want to import it from your own computer, local computer that you're using right now? And so I'm going to show you in this video, and this will be helpful for when you're running a Python notebook on Google Colab or even a R notebook on Google Colab. So on the Python notebook on Google Colab, you can use the code to import the Colab as the library. But in R, unfortunately, there is no such library. So you might be wondering, how do you going to import files into this working directory on your R notebook? So I'm going to show you in just a moment. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is head over to the GitHub of the Data Professor. Click on the code repository. Scroll down, click on Python. Scroll down and find Google Colab R Notebook. Okay, and scroll down and click on the link Use R on Google Colab. And so this will spin up a R Notebook here. Right, and let's call this R Notebook. Okay, and let's test that it is indeed R. Library ggplot2. Okay, and the library loads perfectly in. Okay, and let's check the version of R. Okay, and it's right here, R version 3.6.3. .3. Okay, so this is a native R as I have shown you in the previous video. And so if you want to import files, you want to do this. Look to the left, there is a folder icon. And when you hover your mouse over it, it will say files. So you want to click on that one. And then the panel on the left will expand. And so you can go ahead and click on the upload link. Okay, and here you want to just find your files that you want to upload. So let's say, okay, I have the Boston housing data set. So let me upload that. All right, and so you see that the housing data set is loaded here. Let's check out by reading in the file. Read.csv. Boston housing .csv. Okay, and there you go. We have already read in the input file that was uploaded from the local computer. So I hope that this simple tip will help you in your data science project. And if you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I appreciate if you would subscribe if you haven't yet done so. So as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And so please enjoy the journey. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.